Before starting the video, let me tell you that there are some answers in this book which are not correct. So please watch complete video because I have provided all the answers that are correct and with complete explanation. And please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so you will get notification of the next videos that I will upload related to this book. Today we are going to cover some MCQs of power electronics section from electrical engineering objective type book written by M Honda and A Honda. Focus on concepts. Welcome to my channel Focus on Concepts and this is your mate Hamza Amjad. The first MCQs a silicone controlled rectifier is a so you guys must not have any doubt that this is a device with three junctions so it is quite an easy question moving towards the second question a thyristor is basically it is a pnpn -PN device so option a is the correct option a pnpn -PN device having two gates is i'm gonna go with option d i think they have mistakenly uh, written BCS instead of SCS and SCS stands for silicon controlled switch. I have added the diagram of SCS and you can clearly see that it has two gates. Moving towards our next question, which of the following device incorporates a terminal for synchronizing purpose? So uh, I should tell you that SUS which stands for silicon unilateral switch because uh, it is mainly used in logic, timing and trigger circuits. So for synchronizing purpose, SUS is more compatible with that. The next question, the advantage of thyristor over SCS is, thyristor are only used for high power switching purpose and not for control switching or amplification. So the answer is C because Thyristor has faster switching time and smaller VH. The next question. A thyristor equivalent of a thyratron thyra tube is a... So I should tell you that thyratron tubes were invented for controlled switching and in modern power electronics we call it SCR. So the option C is correct option. Silicon controlled rectifier SCR. Coming towards the, sec uh, the next question, a triac is a, so it is a three terminal bi-directional switch. So option D is the correct option. Figure 10 below represents a, so it is a direct trigger because you cannot see uh, any gate terminal to that. So it is a direct trigger. The ripple frequency of a 6 phase half wave rectifier for 220 volt 60 hertz input will be the correct option will be C 360 hertz because in half wave rectification the frequency remains same so at as it is 6 phase so 60 multiplied by 6 it would be 360 hertz but for a full wave rectification the frequency is multiplied by 2. 10th question. The minimum duration of pulse in a pulse triggering system for thyristors should be at least. I will go with option A 10 microsecond because uh, the, the reason coming in my mind is that the pulse is for the minimum time possible so I will go with 10 microsecond because it is the the least time I can see in these options. As compared to oscillators, an inverter provides um, low voltage output, low frequency output, distortion level output. No. I think that none of the answer makes sense because uh, many oscillators uh, range from 0 0.01 hertz to gigahertz. So uh, option B cannot be correct and some oscillators have a less distorted output so option C can also not correct um, D and A so none of the options make any sense so we will just skip this question during inductive heating the skin depth 
of penetration is proportional to when electrically conductive body is placed in the region of a time varying magnetic field electric currents are induced in the body causing thermal power generation known as induction heating so that induced eddy currents have high intensity at surface of the work piece and decrease towards its center as function of the ratio called thickness or depth effect um, and at 60 hertz in copper the skin depth is uh, 8.5 mm and when frequency increases skin depth becomes much smaller i have added the formula of skin depth so we can clearly see that it is proportional to 1 over under the root of f so option d is correct a device that cannot be triggered with voltage of either polarity is so it is scs because positive voltage between cathode gate and cathode terminal should be applied so you cannot just apply either polar voltage with either polarity so c option is correct figure 11 represents so it is silicon controlled rectifier scr uh, moving towards the next question in a three phase half wave rectifier each diode conducts for a duration of so option b is correct 120 degree and but in the answer section they have written i think they have written uh, d option correct but it is not correct option b is correct which of the following finds applications in speed control of DC motor? So MOSFETs can be used to control uh, speed of a DC motor and NPN uh, transistor is also used along with PWM signal. But SCR convert AC to DC in order to provide efficient variable speed control of DC motors and they are widely being used within industrial applications nowadays. So we will go with option C because it is most efficient of all the options available. So option C is correct. Figure 12 represents a trichthyristor. It is quite obvious there is no need to even look for the options available. 18th question. The Ward Leonard system is used for controlling the speed of it. The correct option is A DC motors because the Ward Leonard system, also known as Ward Leonard Drive System, was a widely used DC motor control system introduced by Harry Ward Leonard in 1891. And in 1900s, the control system of Ward Leonard was also adopted by US Navy and also used in passenger lifts of large mines. A device that does not exhibit negative resistance characteristic is in electronics, negative resistance is a property of some electrical circuits or devices in which an increase in voltage across the device's terminal results in a decrease in electric current through it. So if you will see the working of field effect transistors, you will see that they lack this property. So option A is correct because they does not exhibit negative resistance characteristic. Coming towards the 20th question, a triac, so we are quite sure about that it is it only conducts when it is triggered that we apply a pulse on the gate terminal. So and uh, a triac conducts in both directions. So we cannot see any option like that. So we, we will go with option D, none of the above. 21st question, for a thyristor shown Negative terminal of battery is connected to anode terminal and positive terminal of the battery is connected to cathode terminal. So J1 and J3 will be reverse biased while a very small leakage current will pass through uh, the J2 junction. So option D is correct. Single phase full converter with 50 Hz supply and RC parallel load has output voltage waveform. The uh, correct option is D. You can uh, guess that at your first glance because uh, figure D shows 
charging and discharging of a capacitor so it's very easy to tell there we got our first numerical and as you can see that the solution is quite uh, easy and i have used uh, basic formulas to calculate output average power and the correct option is d moving towards 24th question rc snubber circuit is used to limit the rate of let me tell you what a snubber circuit is snubbers are energy absorbing circuits used to suppress the voltage spikes caused by circuit's inductance when a switch electrical or mechanical opens most commonly one is capacitor and resistor connected in series across transistor so it is uh, it is used to suppress the voltage so the correct option is b rise of voltage across scr a free wheeling diode is connected across an inductive load is the correct option is a to restore conduction angle on phase a flyback or a free wheeling diode is a diode connected across an inductor used to eliminate flyback flyback is the sudden voltage spike seen across an inductive load when its supply current is suddenly reduced or interrupted so whenever the voltage spike comes the voltage uh, the conduction angle on phase also changes so we want to restore that angle so we use free wheeling diode equalizing circuits are provided across each scr in series operation to provide the correct option is b voltage distribution whenever we have to connect two scrs that have uh, that may have same rating but have different iv characteristics so we want to ensure that the voltage drop across each scr is same so that's why we connect resistance um, uh, across each scr in parallel and um, that's how we th that is what we call equalizing circuit and due to that the voltage distribution across each scr becomes same voltage across an rc load connected through a full wave rectifier bridge has waveform i will go with option a because we can see the charging and discharging of capacitor in the waveform of option a the thyristor is turned off when the anode current falls below the correct option is c in the in the answer section they may have written that the latching current is the correct option but the correct option is holding current which is option c because holding current is the minimum value of anode current below which scr cannot maintain current through it and it turns off and latching current is the minimum value of a node current required to keep scr in conducting state but as they have talked about the turning of the turning off of thy thyristor so for for that holding current is uh, considerable in a thyristor circuit the angle of conduction is changed by changing so the option b is correct gate current because in thyristors gate current is basically the controller so uh, the gate the gate current is the pulse that controls the output of the thyristor so this is the last mcq that we will cover in this video and the remaining mcqs will be uploaded in next video in single phase full wave control bridge rectifier minimum output voltage is obtained at conduction angle 0 and maximum at conduction angle 180 so the option a is correct option if you have any queries and if you find any mistakes in the answer that I have told you, ask me in the comment section and stay at home, stay safe and as always, focus on concepts.